Hi, my name is David Feynman. I'm an attorney with the Delucci Law Group. I had a question the other day concerning what happens to my car if I file Chapter 7. And the question was related to a debt that was owed on the car. And in this particular situation, the client didn't want to give up the car, but wasn't sure how they dealt with the debt that was, that was on the car since they'll be filing bankruptcy. When you file bankruptcy, especially in Chapter 7, you have three choices with respect to a vehicle. You can surrender the car, you can redeem the car, or you can reaffirm the debt on the car. And I'll go through each one in particular. Surrendering the, the car is not going to help this client, but it may help others. Surrendering the car is basically giving the car up and just taking your discharge against the debt, treating it just like all your other debts, so you're not going to pay it anymore, and they're going to take the collateral back and get what they can for it. Um, again, if it's right in certain situations and other situations, the, the clients want to take the car with them, and we need to choose between redemption and reaffirmation. Redemption is a choice that most debtors don't have the ability to do themselves, but that is paying the fair market value of the car in a lump sum to the creditor uh, within 30 days of the meeting of creditors. Again, most debtors in the Chapter 7 don't have the ability to pay for the fair market value of the car in a lump sum, uh, but there are finance companies out there that do specialize in that type of financing, and you know if the car is uh, immensely underwater or has a very high interest rate, and you want to keep that car, then redemption financing may be better than uh, your other option, which is reaffirmation. Uh, certainly something that you would want to look into under the right circumstances. A reaffirmation is basically reaffirming the debt that you are going bankrupt on. And what that means is basically re-obligating yourself to continue paying on that debt and you're not getting a discharge from that particular debt. So you get to keep the car under the same terms that you were paying before you filed bankruptcy. Um, there are a couple of things you need to know about the reaffirmation. One, it's just like you didn't file bankruptcy, so if you stop paying on it, the creditor can come pick up the car and then sue you for any remaining balance due on it if, if there's more owed. Second, uh, you do have to continue your payments on the vehicle throughout the bankruptcy process. And third, if you decide you don't want to do the reaffirmation after you already have reaffirmed the car, you only get 60 days or until the date of your discharge to rescind it. And you rescind that by simply letting your, credit, your, your creditor know that you don't want to continue with the reaffirmation agreement. I hope this has been informative. Again, it's very, very general, but if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us at the Delucci Law Group and we can help you through it. Thank you for watching. If you would like more information on this topic or any others, please feel free to contact us for a free 30-minute consultation.